Namaste beautiful yogis. It is a rare rainy day in LA outside it's raining. So we're going to do a very strong interval yoga class using bands. If you don't have bands, just do the stretches without the bands. Otherwise, you can just purchase the bands. They're less than $10, I think. Uh, I'll link them below and you can use them uh, for this type of classes. They make yoga fun. Um, they add different type of resistance. They help you stretch, build strength and flexibility. So they are a good investment. Um, I'm using, you can use a loop band, just one band, or you can tie two bands together the way I have. I'll link those below. And that's what we'll be using for some of the flexibility and strength parts of the class. For more workouts like this, please, Come to my uh, website and join my membership for just $9.99 a month. There is over 400 full length, all kinds of styles and levels. Yoga classes, hip classes, power yoga classes, vinyasa classes, sing classes, etc. We have uh, periodic challenges, periodic schedules, and a lot of weekly schedules, and of course, new uploads. I've been doing two uploads a week, but at least one upload a week. So I would love to see you there and let's begin coming to the front of the mat, extending the tailbone down so that you feel an opening and a widening of the pelvic area, which allows for better energy exchange, breathing into your sacral perineal area. Breathing freedom openness there, allowing your body to release trauma, fear, insecurities, inhaling freedom into that area. And now connecting with the core muscles, bringing strength into the body, stability, self support, assimilation, nourishment. Lifting solar plexus, nice and open, heart nice and open, throat nice and vibrant, third eye, opening, vibrant, lifting through the crown of the head, feet sinking down, roll the shoulders back and down, which allows the back to be wide, the heart to be open, the chest to be open, palms of the hands facing forward, Feeling your foundation standing in this world. Let's reach the arms out, reaching through the fingertips. Drop the shoulders down. Lock your hips forward and turn to your right. Hips forward, turn to your left. A mini twist here. Back to center, reach over the head, lift. Exhale, nice and straight back, forward bend. And shake your head, crown of the head, direct it down. Pull the belly in. A mini vacuum here. Inhale, look ahead of you and step back, plank. Pull the belly in and up. Step your feet about mat width apart. Take the right hand underneath your left shoulder and then bring your hips to face the right wall. Turn the right hand up. Let's do 10 of those. One, two, warming up the core. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Don't you love it when the warm up is already <laughs> hard? Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten 
plank, chaturanga, up dog, take a nice up dog, open the chest, extend the tailbone down, press your toes down, chaturanga, down dog, spread the toes wide open, fingers wide open, tailbone lifting. Inhale the right leg up, open the right hip on top of the left, bend the knee, align the shoulders, feel it here, feel it. And here you can drop the right foot behind you, wild thing. Inviting energy into the body, side plank, star side plank, one legged plank. Three knee tucks, one, two, three, step it through, high lunge, drop the left knee down, come up, one, two, three, and left hand on the floor, spin it here in a twist, soften the belly, rinsing the internal organs, plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, inhale the left leg up, open the hip, mm, breathe into the hip, bend the knee, drop it behind you, lift the hips well thing, really lifting, opening, enjoying it, side plank, Star side plank, beautiful. One legged plank, three knee tucks, one, two, belly in, three. Step it on, high lunge. Drop the knee down, one, two, squeeze the booty, three. Right hand down, twist. Softening in the places where you are resisting the most. If some part of your body is resisting this more, maybe upper back, maybe belly, maybe shoulders, maybe toe mind, softening those places. Instead of trying to push through, breathe. Breathe ease and softness there. Everything should be fun when it comes to our work on the mat. It shouldn't be a torture. All right, step it back. Plank, Chaturanga, Up Dog, Lengthen, Chaturanga, Down Dog, Inhale the right leg up, keep it going, <laughs> step it through, High Lunge, Lower the left knee down and give me a hop, One, two, three. Hands in Prayer, Twist, left hand down grab your big toe with your right hand and take a side plank with toe hold drop it back down one legged plank three knee tucks one two three chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog Inhale the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, three hops, one, two, three, strong body, hands in prayer, twist, shoulders down, lengthen through the crown of the head, spread the toes wide open. Let's bring the right hand down, left three fingers, index, middle, and thumb around your big toe. Take a side plank toe hold. Any level of the toe hold is fine here. One legged plank, knee tucks. One, two, three, chaturanga, up dog. 
chaturanga down dog are you guys warming up a little breathe spread the fingers wide open shoulders away from the ears heels pressing down send some love to your feet since you're facing your feet send some love to those nice cute duties inhale the right leg up step it wrong high lunge three hops one two three three more hops this time knee up one two three step it back three leg kicks keep the right knee bent kick the left leg up one two three hands in prayer twist Bring both forearms on the ground on the inside of your right foot. Feel your hip opening here, right hip is opening. Great. From here, walk your right foot on the outside of the mat. Roll onto the outer edge of the right foot and drop the knee out here. I'm dropping my knee out allowing my hip to stretch again a little more a little deeper one leg plank are you ready for a fun advanced pose reptile chaturanga so bringing the knee to your right elbow and back up great one leg down dog roll the hip Wild thing, lift the hips, lift, 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 and back to plank, chaturanga, up dog, chaturanga, down dog, left leg comes up, step it through, high lunge, three hops, one, two, three, three hops, knee up, one, two, Three, activating the glutes, three kicks, kick backs, one, two, three, hands in prayer twist, soften, soften the breath. Elbows to the ground. Forearms to the ground, nice hip opener here, yum. It just feels so good. And if in your body that's your area of lack of flexibility, still tell yourself it feels good. It's all about the attitude, enjoy things. Keep them at an enjoyable level. Coming up, walk your foot to the outside of your mat, roll onto the outer edge of the foot so that allows the hip to open flex your foot when you roll out so that you're protecting the knee but stretching the hip yum 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 that's just ridiculously yummy are we ready for the advanced chaturanga we're going to do chaturanga reptile chaturanga with the knee tuck <laughs> and one leg is down up bend the knee while thing Give me a really good wow thing here. Lifting the hips. All right, flank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga. Down dog. Spread the fingers wide open and Pull the belly in, navel in and up, bend the knees, jump to forward bend, chair. Inhale, lifting, hands over the heart. Chair, forward bend. Inhale, look ahead of you. Hands on the ground, jump 
into plank. Jump your feet out, star plank, chaturanga. Come back up, knee across from the body. So right knee, left elbow, left knee, right elbow. Jump your feet to the front. On the outside of your hands. And jump up, star, star jump up. So your legs are pushing out as you jump up. And back, plank. Star plank chaturanga, knee across, knee across. Jump your feet back in on the outside of your hands. Jump up. All right, that's, let's say that's one rep. So let's go. Jump out. We're gonna finish up with then jump your feet outside of the mat as the floor jumps. Let's go. One, two, three. Activate your booty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fourteen. Beautiful. Grab your bands. Take a forward bend. Nice deep ujjayi breaths as, as if nothing happened. Hands on the ground. Step into plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Rocking the hips side to side. Let's bring the chin over the right, over to the left, back to center, chaturanga down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step the right foot between the hands, drop the back heel down, warrior one holding your strap. Now hold it a little closer in, bring it over your head and press. Stretch out, press your hands out using the resistance of the band. One, two, three, four, five. Warrior two, take a little wider grip here and reverse the warrior two. Bringing the left arm down and resisting with the right arm. This really stretches your legs. It's the juiciest move of the entire year, last year. Back up, warrior two, hands behind you. Right hand on the outside of the right foot. Side angle, open the hip. All right, strap behind you and see if you can step back into plank. Chaturanga, up dog, back to Chaturanga. Press up, all right. From here, bring your left foot in 
and come up. Grab your strap real close. Warrior one. One, two, three. Pressing out. Four, five. Ride your hands out. Warrior two. Stretching out the strap. Reverse it here. This is real, real especially juicy. Because the right hand is basically pulling, it's like a self-adjustment. It's pulling the left arm up and over and really stretching the obliques. Back to warrior two. Side angle, that's again self-adjusting side angle. Goodness, it's good. This is good. All right, bend behind you. Plank. Here, take a push-up alignment. Take your feet out and we'll do one push up with the resistance of the bend. Goodness, that was good. All right, drop the knees on the ground. Come up. Let your bend rest. It worked hard. <laughs> and walk your hands in front of you. Drop the chest down for a passive back bend. Looking forward. Breathe into your chest. Back. All right, grab your elbows with your hands so that your elbows are shoulder width apart. Interlace your fingers and stack the pinkies on top of each other. Bring your head into your cupping hands and come up onto your feet. Walk your feet as close to you as you can so that your hips are coming over your shoulders. Press into your elbows and forearms and take one leg off the floor and maybe take tap both feet off the floor. Or transferring your weight onto your elbows. That's all for now. We're building towards headstands. If you already practice headstands, just practice this with me. Lifting here, lifting, lifting, lifting. Great. All right, let's lower down onto the knees. Child's pose. Inhale the hands over the head. Come up onto all fours. Put your toes under and lift your knees. Walk your feet so that your knees come between your elbows. Squeeze your knees as high as you can into your chest. All right, plank, chaturanga, chaturanga, downward facing dog. Take your left leg up and stretch it up as high as you can opening the hip closing the hip however you feel it from here take three hops one lifting just the right foot off the floor a little bit and walk your hands to your foot see if you can grab your right calf and lower down here into standing half splits balancing beautiful all right step your left foot between your hands high lunge from here lower down hands by your left foot standing half splits here right leg up Practice your standing half splits, hands off the floor. Focus on your breath. Beautiful. Lower down. And here we're just gonna take three hops with the right leg up. One, two, three. Step your right foot through, high lunge. To plie. 
Take a nice plie here. Grab your bands. Time for them to work again. Grab the ends of the bands. Open out and bring the bands behind you. Bring them over to right hand down, left arm up. Switch, 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 switch. Now let's bring a, a stretch into this. Side bend, side bend, side bend, side bend. Let's bring circular motion into this. Circle the bends, circle the bends circle, reverse, 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 all right, now we're bringing left arm down, right up, and circling here, reverse, what is this called, around the world, with a ball, I think they call it around the world, from here, face forward, you're going to take the bend around your right foot so you loop it once so that that helps you that's that's genius for me because it helps you hold the foot in place hips facing forward and we're going to begin to lift the right leg in front of us and out from here bend the knee you can grab onto a wall here or be close to a wall. Bend the knee behind you and begin to open in a extensor pose. All right, one more pose. We're going to bring the left hand down onto the ground and open the foot here in half moon with a clasp or however you want to call this pose you can straighten the leg hmm all right lower it down forward bend changing sides wrap it around i really love this bend for that Sticky capacity, straight back, come up, lifting that leg. Here, for those of you that are very advanced, you can introduce a few triceps extensions or triceps exercises. Good, open to the side, beautiful. Bend your leg and make sure you're close to a wall in case, in case you wanna fall or close to a table or you can hold the table i personally don't want to hold the table because i want to work with both arms here and the last pose half moon straightening that arm now you can even straighten the leg And release. So sitting down, bring the band around your waistline. And here we're going to thread it underneath us and flip it, flip it over, bring it around the feet and stretch your feet out in front of you. So now the feet are pressing into the band forward. Bend, ooh, nice for the back. Good, release. Release and we're going to bring the band around the right foot. Stretching away from it. Opposite side. You can wrap it also around your hip. 
to shorten it, stretching away from it, changing sides. Abs time. Straight back, leaning back. Straight back so that you're engaging the core. Now here, that's the good thing that if you actually have a really, really weak core, you can actually <laughs> lean back and help use the support of the band so that you're actually having that lower back curvature and engaging the core. Bridging side to side. Now let's bring me in, twist and in, twist and in, twist and in, twist, twist and in, twist and in, twist. Last one, lower down. We're going to lift, engage the lower belly. Lift the legs one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, reaching over the head, turn over onto your belly, hands underneath, your shoulders, press yourself up to standing, and we're going to do two plank reptiles push-ups, <sighs> drop onto your belly, roll onto your back, bicycles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, roll onto your belly, <laughs> lift yourself up, push-up reptiles, one, two, and drop, drop onto your back, Straight leg scissors, reaching in front of you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roll onto your belly. Plank reptiles or push up reptiles. One, two, lower down. And here we're gonna lift, down roll. Lift your hands and feet off the floor. One, two, three, four, five. Forward bend, seated forward bend. Legs in front of you, straight back, lower down. Use your bend if you need to. Pigeon, flex your foot, quick pigeon. Changing sides. Legs in front of you, roll down, plow. Again, we're monkeying around, rolling around on the mat, jumping and all of that. Nothing is serious, nothing is some performance um, test must do. Just have fun with it and get stronger as you have fun. Lift your legs up, shoulder stand, activating the, or balancing the thyroid. As we are into the weight loss New Year's resolution, the thyroid is always important. Lower it down. Soles of the feet together. Resting here in butterfly, reclining butterfly pose. And let's bring one hand over the belly, one over the heart. For a moment, 
allowing all the inner dialogue, chatter, monologue, whatever it is, to drop away and feel yourself floating in a cloud of fluffy, the fluffy pillows cloud, in a cloud of pure, pure air, pure, fluffy, secure, safe pillows, or however you want to imagine it. And you're there in a space of nothingness, emptiness, safety, and lightness. Allowing yourself to fully experience not just the moment, the moment, but to fully experience yourself, who you truly are. To pause and beyond the mind and the ego and the identity that you're so used to, to experience the pure you, who you truly are. When there is no distractions, when you're not so heavily grounded in your identity, but when you're open and willing to see beyond into the true you. And to find the purity and joy in that. Because we are an eternal, eternal being. And sometimes when we pause, we remember that. And we remember who we truly are. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.